Gruesome murder grabbed headlines, and now it's become one of the oldest unsolved cases in L.A. history. For 67 years, there's been a lot of speculation about who killed her, and it's really never stopped. NBC4 now has learned exclusive new details, which may add a little heat to this cold case. NBC4's Patrick Healy live in Hollywood right now with this exclusive information for us. Patrick. Colleen, check quick background. It's been a while since a retired detective asserted the killer was his late father, a medical doctor who lived in this landmark, distinctive house on the edge of Hollywood. What brought him back was the chance to get some corroborating evidence. I'm wired to search for the truth. Steve Hodell cannot let go. I'm not going to give up until the whole world recognizes the truth of this. He's returned to the Hollywood mansion where he lived as a kid. Here now, not as a visitor, but as an investigator. And he's brought with him another retired cop, Paul Dosti, and Buster, Dosti's world-renowned search dog for human remains. Buster, ready to work? That's fine. The quest is forensic evidence to locate the scene of the murder of the Black Dahlia as 22-year-old Elizabeth Short came to be immortalized in death. Her body drained of blood and severed with surgical technique, then placed alongside a sidewalk. An officially unsolved horror that invaded L.A.'s consciousness 66 years ago and has never fully left. There was no blood at the scene, so they knew that uh, she had been killed elsewhere. Steve Hodell was seven years old at the time. His father, George Hodell, then a prominent medical doctor with some serious issues. The truth is he was a sadist and a misogynist of the highest order. What never became public knowledge back in the 40s is that authorities suspected Dr. Hodell, questioned him, even put a bug to listen inside his mansion. But Dr. Hodell was never charged, and in 1950, he abruptly abandoned his family and fled to Asia. Son Steve Hodell grew up to a career as an LAPD detective. Then a decade ago, retired Detective Hodell dropped the bombshell that became a New York Times bestseller and attracted the attention of news magazines, including NBC's Dateline. There's no doubt in my mind that my father, Dr. George Hill Hodell, was in fact the killer. And that Dr. Hodell tortured and killed Elizabeth Short inside the Franklin Avenue mansion while the rest of the family was away. Experts were persuaded, and further corroboration came when the DA's office unsealed files. Turns out the bug heard Dr. Hodell say, suppose I did kill the Black Dahlia. They couldn't prove it now. At another point, sounds of blows came from the basement. A woman cry, screams out, more blows, more screaming, and it goes silent. Then they hear Dad say, uh, don't leave any evidence, no trace. He ultimately concluded his late father was a serial killer, but still lacking was direct physical evidence of attacks inside the house, until just recently, when Steve Hodell returned with Dosti and Buster, and the current owner let them search the basement. Buster alerted. Four different locations inside in the basement, and uh, I was amazed. What Buster's telling us is that we got a pretty solid decompositional signal. Possibly from the Dahlia's blood, or the unknown woman on the recording, or possibly traces that migrated from the upslope alley where Buster also alerted. To try to pin that down, soil samples will be analyzed in a laboratory. And of course, we'll bring you those results when they're available. And no, your eyes were not deceiving you. Buster the Black Lab gets by with three legs since about with cancer, but it's under control and it has not affected his sense of smell. Live in Hollywood, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. Since Detective Steve Hodell retired from LAPD, it's been decades. But Citizen Hodell still cannot resist tackling Hollywood cold cases, especially when clues point to the same suspect, a medical doctor, his late father, George Hodell. I see him as a Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> A reference to the fictional split personality depicted in one of Hollywood's classic horror films. Unfortunately, the monster, the, the Mr. Hyde inside of him, was stronger and, and ruled him and overpowered the good. A year ago, NBC4 showed you for the first time what happened when Hodel enlisted the skills of another retired cop, Paul Dosti, and his search dog, Buster, taking them to the Hollywood foothills where the Hodels lived in the 1940s. Buster. Ready to work? That's fine. Buster indicated finding the scent of human remains in the alley behind the house. Now we know from cutting edge lab analysis of soil samples, Buster was right. Soil was actually came up positive for human remains. Uh, and we know that because there are a number of human specific markers. 
At the Oak Ridge National Laboratory and now working independently, Arpad Voss has made a science of analyzing human decomposition at the microscopic level. What's difficult, he told us, is narrowing down how long ago death occurred. I would say probably between uh, maybe 20 and 100 years. Hodel believes the remains yet unrecovered are those of one or more victims his father killed and then buried in secret. We're talking about potentially clearing 10 different cases. But who? Well, definitely not Elizabeth Short, the Black Dahlia, a gruesome dismemberment murder officially unsolved, though the evidence marshaled by Steve Hodel points to his father. All her remains were accounted for. I would put Spangler probably at the top of the list. Gene Spangler, at 26, a rising young star who disappeared in 1949. Nothing more than her purse found days later in Griffith Park near the Hodel home. A note inside hinting at abortion, then illegal. Steve Hodel discovered Spangler and his father had a mutual friend. His dad was admit, on tape admitting to performing abortions at that time. Hodel could not get permission to excavate above the house to try to recover remains. LAPD passed. Too old and too cold. But if it appears the ageless sleuth is running out of leads to pursue, don't count on it. I'm going to keep digging. Patrick Healy, NBC4 News.